All right, guys, so we are back with another tour. Um, this one is called the Hatteras. It is in our Newburn location, and we want to sell you this home, this particular one. So if you like it, comment down below, and hopefully you are east of I-95 in North Carolina. We want to sell it to you. We have a great, great deal on it because it has been in our inventory, and we need to get rid of it. Of course, like always, I will start the video by saying give us a like, subscribe to us on YouTube, and click that notification bell because we really would like to see you back again. With all that being said, all the contact information to get a full price on this home will be below, but I will give you a starting price at the end of the video. So, touring this home, this is your front living room. It's kind of like what you just saw was the front living room. It's kind of more of what you would call a formal uh, living room, and this home has three bedrooms. It is a really good size and a really, really good starter home, especially someone who has a property and lives out on a farm. This house I really, really like because in most manufactured homes, you do not see the cabinets that go all the way to the ceiling. In this home, we did put the cabinets that what we call is from cabinet all the way up. It is a cabinet. I know it is a pretty good height. And a lot of people won't be able to put a whole lot of stuff up there, but with a step stool, it still gives you a ton of space. I really like that in this home. And we do have the trim to match to go around the cabinets. We do have the double refrigerator with the farmhouse sink and the detachable sprayer that I really, really like about this as well. We did put in a dishwasher and a flat top stove with the built-in microwave. So all that being said, I have some seen some comments that there's not enough drawers. There are some manufacturers that do drawer over door. That's the technical term for it. And that's what you see here in this manufacturer. We do put a drawer over every door cabinets on the bottom row. And I didn't know if you've noticed, but I love, love, love these windows that are right here underneath the cabinets. They let in a lot of natural light into the kitchen, whereas an otherwise area would be kind of dark but I do like that those windows are there. We didn't even put up a cabinet above the microwave for extra storage for spices or whatever. This is your laundry room. So it is kind of tucked back here. You have enough space for your washer and dryer. And then you also have a, what I would like to call a linen closet, kind of here, and you have enough space. So it just adds a little bit of extra storage in this room. You do have a separate entrance and this will be considered, I guess, your mud room. So that way you don't mess up the rest of your home. And it just makes life a lot easier and cleaner. <laughs> so if we come back this way, we will be going into the secondary living room and dining room. I don't know if you've noticed this before, but over on this side of the island, we put in a bar that is a little bit lower. So it actually works out great for the kids. In the morning, they're getting ready for school, having a bowl of cereal. They're just sitting here, and they don't have to mess up your dining room table. It's just a nice little eating area for them. So we did put the bottom flooring through the dining room area. I know a lot of people think, why in the world is there ever carpet in a dining room area? Well, this house, we didn't do that. <laughs> uh, we did put the chair railing on the side here so another upgrade that you usually don't see in a home so just trying to point out some features and benefits of buying the home that's already here on a lot if you were to reorder it is a lot more we did built-ins which are finally coming back they used to be really big back in the day when homes were built and then nobody ever did them anymore but we are doing them this has a built-in entertainment center has a couple cabinets and then there's also a wire drop for your um, TiVo or Xbox or anything back there. And there's also some bookshelves for decorations and books on either side. There's also an LED light that comes in uh, to shine down on these bookshelves, which I really, really like. We put in ceiling fans and the master and then here. So just to show you some of the features and benefits. Now we're going on into the second and third bedrooms. Going into here, they are Jack and Jill, but we also put in an extra linen closet here just to keep your towels and just extra stuff you might need for your bathroom right outside of your bathroom. 
So coming into here, we do have a transom above the shower, and also you have a one-piece shower and tub combo that is perfect for the kids to kind of have a separated bathroom and also for your guests. And we will show you both bedrooms this time. <laughs> we did put the chair railing in this bedroom um, with also the curtains. And you do have plantation blinds. They're not down at the moment. Let me see if I can get them down real quick. And these actually come with the home. It's not an, it's not an additional uh, upgrade or anything like that. Well, there we go. So you do have these blinds throughout on every window. And here also it does have some stuff in it for storage, but we do have a good size closet in there as well. Coming on in here, we'll show you the third bedroom. And same thing in here, we did the chair railing, the plantation blinds, which I won't try to pull down again. And also another closet here. So, just to kind of give you an idea of how the house is. If we come back this way, we'll show you the master and the master bath. Again, we did a ceiling fan in the living room. I, I love a ceiling fan in a house. It is just one of my favorite things. So we do have a really good size master. This master is probably like 15 feet wide. Uh, so you have enough room to fit a really big king size bed in here with two nightstands against the windows, the plantation blinds coming out. It would look fantastic. Coming in this way, we do have a his and hers sink. And if you want to, I will show you, you do have a nice tile shower in here as well. And it is kind of set by the glass door. So you do have enough space in here to kind of move around. We do have the Amazon rain head and the really nice glass tile insert. I really, really like that in a tile shower. And also too, the tile shower comes to an end here and it's not just tile. I know I've seen some manufacturers that don't have this little metal piece. It's not just tile, but it just makes life a lot easier. I really like the space in here. It's not massive like some showers we've seen, but it's a good size. You do have, sorry, close that, a closet in there. That will be a linen closet. Like I said before, I still have some construction materials. Uh, but then we, here's the big closet. It's behind here. Um, sorry about that. I'll show you in here. This is the master closet. It hides away so you don't know it's here, but it is massive. A huge walk-in closet. You, you probably could add a couple more shelves here and you have a ton of space and storage for your closet. So it is kind of hidden, but it does have a lot of a lot of room either way. Space up and it's kind of deep as well. It kind of tucks away into the bathroom where you would never think it's there. So come back in here to the kitchen. We will do uh, some final notes on this home. So again, this is uh, the Hatteras. We have this in our Newburn location. We really want to sell this home. So we are pushing this home. Uh, this home, probably starting point, and this is just the home as it sits here on our lot. No improvements whatsoever. No land improvements, no land, no nothing. You're starting probably in the, um, starting in the 80s. So that's probably where we're starting at with this home. And then of course, we can give you a full turnkey price um, with everything that you would need to, to move in. But our number for our new location will be listed below and they will be the ones to be able to give you a full turnkey price. So do not hesitate to give them a call and schedule an appointment to come look at this or just give them a call to get a turnkey price on this home. Uh, if you're east of I-95, we'd love for you to come take a look at this. This is in our Newburn location. Again, all of our information will be listed below. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, 
like us, I mean, subscribe to us on YouTube, click the little, little notification bell so that you can be notified every time we upload a new house tour, and also leave us a comment down below and a like on this video. So thank you guys, and we'll see you next time.